guys, and welcome back with some more Rome 2 action for you today, and we have a glorious 3v3 siege in which Athens right now is getting absolutely bombarded. They are being joined as well by Galatia and Arverni. You've got some Gallic allies here supporting their uh, assault on Athens, actually. So Athens is re trying to retake its city, it would seem. And in this weird scenario, uh, we've got uh, the Iceni, we have Saba, and we have Epirus. Uh, defending. So I guess you could say, like, I don't know, maybe Epirus has taken it and they've got some mercenaries from both east and west. I don't know. Make up whatever fancy you would like. But yes, we have an excellent uh, 3v3 3v3 for you today. And um, this one was sent in by a member of my Discord, a, uh, a great, great guy um, who was playing as uh, Iceni in this one. So uh, it'd be interesting to see how he does. I don't often see Iceni here today, uh, or like in many sieges, or often really at all. But yes, I've had like a week off, and it, uh, it's been nice, it's been nice being away, uh, but it's good to be back as well, playing some Total War and looking at some Total War action, and what better Total War to start with than some Rome too. So I hope you guys are all doing well, and uh, have had great weeks as well, and uh, are preparing for the weekend. It's so warm here, um, it is absolutely boiling, um, but I'm not complaining. In Britain, you don't get it often, very often, but anyway. Less of that and more, more Rome 2. It looks like already we have some uh, Athenian tortoises here coming down, uh, bringing down the walls and they're going to open up large breach points as you should really in Athens. Um, you don't want to like allow it to be a choke pointing battle because that can work very much in the favour of the uh, defenders. Um, but it looks like, yeah, Arverni looks like he's going to be attacking a very small strip of this wall. I mean, he is sort of also over here as well. But he, I think he's, <laughs> I don't think he's realised that these Oswald are not going to be able to get on towers, unfortunately. And uh, actually, his Oswald are taking a bit of a punishment from this uh, ballista here from uh, the Iceni. But it looks like we're about to see thorax swords from Athens about to uh, go through the breaches, and we're about to see Gal uh, Galatian swords, sorry, land on the walls as well. So uh, I imagine the sword band are probably going to get overwhelmed by thorax swords, but uh, that is just the first sense. These levy freemen certainly will. He's just, just levy, just some villagers that aren't supposed to be here. But here we go. The first bit of action is underway. Yes, there we go. Got a bit of uh, infantry action on the way. Also, just to bear in mind, I see he has brought himself some chariots. It's kind of one of like the interesting units here today. So let's see how well they do. Also, out on this side over here, we also have uh, Celtic Warhounds. That are uh, being released as well as some chariots here. Have the Warhounds actually been released? I don't know. I don't think they have. Let me have a look. We can just easy way to find out. Zoom in. They have not been released. There are Warhounds ready and chariots and nothing else. That is all. So it looks like they're going to be doing some interesting stuff there. But yeah, the infantry fight is uh, very much underway. The Rexor's losing here to Levy Freeman. Because they're getting shot on the flank currently by uh, Slingers and all sorts of other stuff here. Yeah. I mean, I said that these Freemen were going to get beaten by the Thorax, but it might be the other way around. That's what, uh, like, Archer support will do for you. But anyway, let's see whether the um, Chariots are going to get involved. I kind of hope they do. These are, are these actually heavy Chariots? They're not as like, heavy as the uh, the Scythe ones, or, like the more Eastern factions. They're still pretty handy. Still, like do some decent damage. I mean, against Levy Freeman and Celtic Warriors, they've probably got a pretty good chance of getting some good kills. I think they're trying to take out this Ballista, which is doing a fair amount of damage to the front line of Iceni here. Actually hitting a lot of sword band. Uh, the Levy Freeman did help break that uh, Thorax Swords, which is, a, I mean, a good win for it, but it is looking a bit weak. 120, and it's getting attacked in the rear, and it is wavering. See here, sword band breaking as well. Galatia is being broken over here, though. It seems like uh, Epirus might be a little bit too much for him at the moment. We've got some uh, Galatian swords going against mercenary Italian swords. But yes, if you're enjoying seeing Rome 2 on the channel and would like to see more uh, Rome 2 action, or just more Total War Sieges in general, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe to me around here, and a comment show support. As always, always appreciate it as we work towards 5k subs. As you can see here, saw Bam being broken, but Chariot's now getting sent in. Oh boy, how are these boys going to do? I think, I like, I mean, that's the thing, that they're not, like, super heavy, so they don't, like, knock through units easily. But, I mean, I imagine they're going to try. Uh, I don't know, over here they seem to be doing a lot better. They seem to be, I think they are doing a bit of damage to the store. Like, they really need to go in for, like... Uh, lighter things, but you have a general in here. Galatia's noble horse is now in in amongst it. It's a bit bold by him. Sally Force out here. Yeah, okay, they did actually send him out. I do apologize. We kind of missed it. 
I do apologize. Didn't seem like it really did anything of effect though. I mean, they damaged the Levy Freeman, some Kellogg Warriors, but yeah, these chariots out here in the uh, the War Dogs kind of just got evaporated. Kind of a shame. Um, like I said though, the chariots are just not that strong for uh, Iceni, and War Dogs are uh, okay, but they're not as great as in uh, some other some other games. You see, bounce power is not looking great for the uh, defenders, as we have a rear charge going on. Uh, by the Noble Horse, so he's getting pinned down quite a bit. We've also got Sword Band over here holding their own. I don't know how I say that. I don't know. They're doing okay. Could be doing a bit better. I think uh, the one that has the most success might be Epirus. But then he's not really facing a full force. I mean, there, these chariots. How many kills has Chariot got? 246 kills. Okay, it's doing pretty well. I'll take that back. That one's done really well. I don't know how about the other one, though. Saber's now having to send over troops. It looks like he's uh, not going to bother fighting for the walls, or if he is, sending Levy up. If he could just deal, help deal with like this Athenian push and Galatia's general, I mean, they could do well. Like Athens is not sending anything else, and he's decided to just box up here, bizarrely. Uh, Galatia sent in about two or three units of infantry, had them massacred, and is now standing outside. So, I mean, they could take out a good chunk of this assault here. Uh, if they can do this correctly. A heroic rider's in here as well. We've got a uh, Marab Camel Cataphracts coming in. These guys, if you've seen uh, previous videos, are nasty. And there's some over here as well. They'll be cutting down these uh, these Thorax Swords like no problem. Yeah, this is uh, Saba's strongest unit by far and away, these Cataphracts. That are camels. Because uh, who wants horse Cataphracts? They're just so last year. It's all about the camels. Anyway, Heroic Riders, the general going in. Um, just taking out like a little uh, light horse here, so nothing like too major. So, uh, that, yeah, then the general's done perfectly fine out of that. You can see here Cataphracts now riding anything that was, uh, I think there's a few little Galatian units here, and they've just been routed. Though there is fresh stuff coming in, including mercenary veteran hotplates, so that'll be a very good counter to these uh, Cataphracts. Also, jabbing them's not a bad idea. And it seems like they're really still trying to go after this uh, general. Is he dead? No, he's not dead. So they have not got Galatia's general, though. They Nearly got him at one point. Epirus is now sending an in infantry to uh, hold the line here. We've got Mercenary Samurai Warriors being sent in. To kind of steady the line. Send some more elites over here. Greeks versus Greeks now. And uh, yeah, still the R3 is going flying on in from uh, Arverni. They didn't really seem to take it out. I don't know if it was really the smartest idea to get that. How this Levy Freeman's got out here, I'm not sure. But it's out here. And uh, I guess it's going to cause some sort of havoc. We've also got the uh, Camel Cataphracts now outside the walls. And I wonder whether they're going to go for uh, generals, maybe? Or for, I don't know, artillery, other stuff. You also got to remember, I also just seen that Epirus has got some cavalry here. because has got some Aspis Companion Cav and Hellenic Royal Cavalry. So they will be very useful if they decide to uh, charge in anywhere. But it seems like, look at that, Glacian Legionaries! 128 and they're uh, going to break by the looks of it. Yeah, they're wavering. General recently died, so there you go. Glacier General has uh, risked it one too many times going in and has died. And we now can see these uh, veteran hotplates again set upon in the flank by Swordband and Samurite Warriors. And they're getting forced back now. I mean, they're not breaking, they're just being uh, forced back towards the breaches. And it now seems like uh, Athens is going to throw in more and more of his troops. A lot of spears getting sent in, though. He has only got spears left. Here you go, you can see this Camel Cap right, which has actually been beaten up so badly. Look at that. A lot died there uh, going in. And I think the smart play by the Arverni was to put the general onto the tower, so it kind of uh, stops you getting a good charge. But he's going after archers now. It's not a bad thing. Those archers have revealed themselves, and they're going to get slightly attacked anyway by Camel Cap right. Only eight of them left, so that was going to cause too much damage for too long. Desert Levy on the wall here. They're losing to uh, some Chosen Swords. No surprise there. And also Arverni is starting to uh, come off the walls over here. Though he is uh, going to be met by some Sabaean infantry on both sides. He's getting hit quite hard up here. What is this? This is Celtic Warriors. They are lose. Uh, they are beating these Desert Levy. And what looks like the most intense battle I've ever seen. Galatia sending in his general now since he's just, well, dead. So they send in the units to try and get some more kills, cause more chaos. What we've got here, Chosen Sword Band being sent in. They're going in after those veteran hot whites. So some of the more of the elite stuff being sent in now by Iceni. What are their reserves looking like? Iceni's looking a little short, but I mean, other his allies looking pretty good. Epirus is starting to shift stuff across as well. 
since Galatia is going all in in these breaches over here. So it seems like after all those choke points were opened up, they're going to kind of just go through this one choke point, which is a real shame because, I, like I said at the beginning of the battle, Athens is a it's an easy city to take, but it's also a really hard city to take at the same time if you play it wrong. And this is playing it wrong, I think. You've got to try and open up as much stuff as possible. Eventually, you'll like bat your way through. But you're more, you've got more troops as an attacker. You'll eventually break through. If you're, as long as you're trading units, you should eventually just break through. These mercenary veteran hotplates are losing, actually. These Galatian legionaries there. I mean, their morale's going to be pretty hit since they've lost the general. Hopefully, the IC is probably hoping that these chariots did enough damage to weaken uh, his enemies. But I'm not really sure, to be honest. Athens and Galatia got fairly... Well, not... Athens is a little bit more beat, but Galatia got a fairly healthy army. Arvernes has got a fairly healthy army, but... Reassuringly, a lot of his troops are light melee infantry, which is coming in. So, I mean, that shouldn't be too much of an issue for, say, I don't know, like, cataphracts back here, which you got more of, or, like, the more heavily armoured, like, Epirus troops. We've got more cataphracts actually in here. Jeez. A lot of damage being done. Any unit that comes off the wall right now is getting hit by a cataphract. It's a painful sight for any Gallic fan. Just being run down by desert... Desert boys. Down here. Well, who's winning this fight? Heroic Nobles, the most elite sword unit for Icene has come in and is doing a fair amount of damage. These legionaries, no surprise here to be honest. I mean, they cost so much more than the legionaries. The legionaries are good, cost effective, but they will still get beaten by more like elite swords like, say, Heroic Nobles or Oswar, for instance. Um, good examples. They look like they're focusing into the flank of this legionary. That's really good by the defenders, making sure that they use their uh, like angles, getting uh, good shots with their slingers, which I'm sure these guys have got some pretty decent kills. Uh, 56, maybe not. I mean, they're cheap, so they're not going to get like insane kills. So, I mean, any kills with them is pretty impressive. Uh, Pris keeping some units over here. You know, he's just worried that like Athens may swing in, which is obviously a smart idea. We've got uh, some Galatians breaking here now at 64. More Galatians coming in. Oh, this isn't Galatian. This is uh, Oswald and this is Arverni coming in. Sent a small little detachment over here. But yeah, they're still holding them on the walls. Already getting beaten back here, though. At these uh, surveying swords. They may have been better waiting at the bottom of the wall. I don't know. Depends if they were trying to just lure him in with more archers, but... It looks like the defenders are kind of running out. Oh, I say running out of archers. And then Epirus and like Saba have so many over here ready. And they're hitting these guys hard. What's these surveying warriors are more heavily armored than medium infantry. They're going up against Celtic warriors. And yeah, there's a lot of Celtic warriors. So, I mean, they in theory should beat them anyway. Or most of them. Obviously, as numbers go on, they will lose. We're just getting forced down here. Looks like Arverni is trying to get off the wall. But yeah, a lot of his troops left that Arvoni seems to have. I mean, we may there may be some hidden ones, but he does seem to just have many lights left. Like, his Oswan and stuff are already committed. Unless he's got, like, more stuff hidden back here. I don't know. But it's going to come back to uh, Athens and to Glacier to pull this one out of the bag. Seems like Arvoni's thrown a lot of the wall, and he's, uh, well, he's already been repelled, put it like that. Long line here being formed up by... Uh, Epirus, so we've got some pikes in here as well from Epirus. Yeah, and they're not being focused down by the defenders. Have they got ammo? Yeah, they, here we go, finally, I was going to say. Athens is going to bring up some archers. Just some basic archers here. And he's going to probably focus down that pike unit. So whether Epirus wants to get that out of there, I would probably... It's going to be almost certainly the focus of uh, any archer fire from the, uh, from the attackers. These boys doing their... Doing their job, doing their pokey pokey job. Sword band's starting to break here though, so I mean the line is sitting slightly, but not massively. Oh, there's some more O Swan or something that just broke there. That's yeah, okay, so they did throw more down here. They got beaten back. You can see these Celtic Warriors appear. They're losing decisively. Well some of them are. 
They're actually gonna bring the rest of their forces, it seems, all the way around. And join the uh, the main assault, which actually probably works in favor of the defenders. Though obviously I'm sure the attackers will appreciate having more troops there. It just means that the defenders have less sides to worry about. Pikes have taken a few casualties, lost 10 men. Still no movement from this cav over here, just keep an eye on that, but I'm, I'm expecting- Oh, just to say that, a load of blue lines. Seems the cav has been given orders to move. So what they'll go for, I don't know. Maybe for the general of Athens, take out the Storax Hotplate, but I'm pretty sure he can form square. Maybe for the archers over here, try and take these guys out. Try and save the uh, the pikes, which is not a bad idea. Seems like uh, Galatia has actually committed some troops now over to this choke point. But well, the pike unit here, which has taken no casualties, Pikes are down. The phalangites of Epirus. They are breaking this uh, Italian sword. It's just Seen too much action now, it just is it's finished. Finished for the day. Honestly, I'd move these Etruscans across. I'm sure they're just expecting Athens to do it, but Athens will be equally worried because they'll be thinking, well, there'll be more troops over here. I mean, Saba could obviously cover the back with the uh, camels. And you can see here, look at this. I don't know if um, he tried to, like, I've only tried to just pull his troops off the wall. It looks like he is just trying to pull them off the wall, but he's they are wavering. They are not doing too good. And that's just going to allow the, uh, the defenders to win. So chosen sword band here as well, also cleaning up. I didn't realize these guys got sent in. Got 192 kills, and they've got plenty of men left. So they're going probably 250 at least. Cavalry lingering in the background is hidden, by the way. It is hidden. I don't know if the, uh, I don't think the attackers would have seen it because they're, well, line of sight isn't like everything. I'm pretty sure you have to have like troops up to here or something to be able to see anything coming out of that far gate. I don't know what they're gonna go for though. It must be for the archers. It must be concerned about those archers. I don't know if they should be bothered. Oh, so mass route here by Arvoni. Did Arvoni lose his general? Yeah, his general's recently died. Arvoni's general's dead. So that's one less general. Gotta remember as well that Glacier lost his general right at the beginning. So, I mean, Glacier's also nearly out. He's got, what, two units of infantry left? He's got some archers. It's gonna come down to, uh, to Athens, and it's kind of evened up now. We've got Thoros Spears here. They're forming square. They're actually winning. Forming square's not a bad tactic uh, with the Thoros Spears. It's a pretty good way to, uh, like, draw in a, a blob of infantry. And then that blob of infantry focused down with archers. It's a pretty good tactic. You see here these uh, chosen sword band. They're going to try and sneak on in behind. I think they're going to try and uh, go for these Galatian swords here. Go and get a rear charge. Close in the gap. No, they're going to go outside. They're going to go outside. They're going to try and... Uh, I wonder if they're going to try and pin down the Thoros spears. So they can't support the uh, the archers. So then, yeah, you can see the cavalry's now going to come in. Because all this infantry is going to get excited by one chosen sword band. Oh, these archers are going to pounding anyway from just javies. They're going to get cat. They're going to get caught, sorry. Yeah, these guys actually kind of caught them. And there you go. Apparently it cost a victory. So I'm going to assume that uh, at that point Iceni or something like that must have quit. But it seemed like that was going to be the battle. It was a really quick one. Um, but yeah, I mean the defenders were going to go on and win. Um, unfortunately, yeah, a pyrrhic victory for the, uh, for the attackers. I don't know whether they just mass routed. I doubt it. I think they must have, like, um, Athens has been the last player, uh, because everyone else was out, and he just quit. Um, I'm gonna guess. 
Um, I don't know. I may be wrong. Um, I'll have to ask Coops, who was uh, sent this one in, who was playing as Iceni. It was a really good battle, though. I mean, both these charities did really well. I said this, like, one of them didn't do that well because they just, like, didn't seem to take out any units. But they, like, damaged a lot, it seems. 200-odd kills for these two units. Not too bad at all. 173 for his general also is really good. His slingers eventually got towards 128, which is really good for a really cheap slinger unit. Dog's got 93 kills. Um, so, like, nothing too insane. His Chosen Sword Band here getting 253. Um, his Heroic Noble's getting 229. He only had three elite units. Um, his Levy Freeman holding the line. Um, didn't really get any kills, but they held the line. His Sword Band as well only getting, like, 70-odd kills, uh, like, average. So, yeah, his infantry did, like, some did really well, some did not. I mean, his chariots just clutched up, really. And we've got Hoax, who's playing a Sabah. I mean, he has so many fresh uh, Camel Cataphrags at the end. And send in. So it's a shame that they, we didn't get to see them in action. But the two that did go into action, 227 kills, 159. Not too bad at all. His Surveyan Swords did really well. 209 kills, 320 with the Surveyan Swords. I guess these are the guys facing the uh, the uh, Celtic Warriors. And then he's got Desert Levy here with just like 40 odd kills, 50 kills. His uh, Slingers did really well, getting 145. And then we have Ken DP, who is playing as Epirus. Um His Archers did really well as well, 136, 122. Um, his like Etruscan hot plays did okay, getting 95 kills. His uh, Italians getting 132. His Samurai warriors getting 249, really nice done. His pikes getting 76 uh, kills. And then we have uh, the attackers. Uh, so we have Blunted who was playing as Arverni. Uh, he got 102 kills with his Oswan before he died. Uh, his chosen swords 207. It's not too bad. His uh, Oswan down here getting uh, 150. Four, and his arch is getting 136, so not too bad there. We've got J9, who's playing as Athens. 90 kills with his archers here. 121 with his veteran hot plates. 211 with his thorax, not too bad at all with those kills. It's actually his thorax did pretty well, apart from this one. Um, and his thorax spears here getting 120 is not too bad either. And then we have M. Plek uh, Prazino, who's playing as Galatia. 472 kills with his noble horse general. Wow, well done to him there. Um, 80 kills with his archers, 109 with his Glacian Legionnaires. Um, so, I mean, they probably disappointed the most. His Legionaries just, just did not do well. That's a shame because they're a really good unit. Uh, Glacian Swords, yeah, nothing insane. 61 kills and his Naked Swords, 68. So, yeah, his infantry kind of let him down, but his general did really well. Um, but, yeah, there you go, guys. That was today's Rome 2 battle. If you did enjoy, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and a comment, comment to uh, show your support as well. And feel free to join the uh, Discord as well. The link is down below in the description if you want to get involved in some Rome 2 stuff, some streams, or just generally get involved in some uh, Total War chit-chat. Anyway, until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.